All right, we're going to do an overall review of our reflexives, uh, just to really get us ready to use these in depth next week. So remember that reflexives are any verb beginning with su or an s apostrophe, or any of su's conjugations, which include me, te, se, of course, nu, vu, and su. Reflexives are used when the subject and the object of the sentence is the exact same person or thing. So in other words, it's when you are doing something to yourself. Reflexives are almost always forms of other verbs. The same verb can often be reflexive or not reflexive, depending on the context of the sentence, as well as, of course, the reflexive pronoun su. So we've seen this many, many times in our example sentences, such as, Je love le chien, I'm washing the dog, and je me love, I'm washing myself. The first sentence is not reflexive because the object of the sentence is the dog, while the subject is me, I. The second sentence, je me love, is reflexive because the subject and the object are both me, even though the verb itself, lave, is the same. So, questions one or two. Are the verbs in these sentences reflexive or not? Remember that when using a reflexive in a sentence, you must include both the reflexive pronoun and the conjugative verb in the sentence. Remember as well that a sentence also requires things like subject pronouns and punctuation, capital letters, all of those basic language skills that don't go away just because we're in French class. So for example, a lot of you are giving me answers like this. If I ask you to translate, I am brushing my teeth, se brosser le dent is wrong. It's just plain wrong. That's not a sentence. <coughs> In order to make this a sentence, first we have to start with our subject pronoun. I becomes je. You should know that. But our reflexive verb in and of itself is unconjugated. Right now this says... I to brush himself the teeth. So we have to fix that. We have to make, first of all, the reflexive pronoun has to match je. So we're going to change it for me. Je me. Now we know that I to brush my teeth. We're getting close. But we don't want to say I to brush my teeth because that doesn't make very much sense. So we're con going to conjugate brosse by dropping our ER and adding our ER present tense endings, which in this case is an E. Je me brosse les dents. And that's the end of our sentence, so we stick a period there. Yay! Now we finally have a full and complete sentence. Your turn. Question number three. Correct this highly questionable translation that was given to me on a previous devoir assignment. You were supposed to be translating, are you drying your hair? When we are making reflexives negative, it's really easy. All you have to do is write the sentence normally and put the ne and the pa around both the reflexive pronoun and the verb. So our example sentence from earlier, I am brushing my teeth, je me brosse les dents. When we go to make that negative, I am not brushing my teeth, the ne and the pa, the ne goes in front of the me, and the pa goes after the brosse. Je ne me brosse pas les dents. 
so try it. Correct this second questionable translation from my previous homework assignment. The question was to translate the sentence, I do not get up at 7 o'clock. And finally, when we have a list of reflexive actions. So just like any time that you're discussing more than one activity that tends to happen either in a very close succession uh, or at the same time, we can always use it in a list. We do the same thing in English. For example, the sentence, every morning I wake up, get dressed, and brush my teeth. To do this in French, you don't necessarily need the subject pronoun more than once. We can see this even when we look at the English sentence, there's only one I. You could say, every morning I wake up, I get dressed, and I brush my teeth. But the first subject pronoun, we know that it carries through. The exact same thing happens in French. We only need one je. But we do need the reflexive pronoun every single time. All of these actions are reflexive. And we must have that reflexive pronoun in order for the verb itself to become reflexive. So even though we don't have a je every single time, we will have a me. So it would look something like this. Chaque matin, je me réveille, m'habille et me brosse les dents. You could, if you really wanted to, stick the je's in. Je me réveille, je m'habille, je me brosse les dents. Just like in English, you could have the I. It's just not necessary. The part that's non-negotiable is that reflexive pronoun. That has to be there. It's part of the verb. It cannot be gotten rid of. Please note that every single one of these verbs is also conjugated. Again, just like in English, we don't say, every morning I wake up, to get dressed, and to brush my teeth. Every single verb is conjugated into the present tense. So we're going to do the exact same thing in French. So last question, question number five. Translate the following list into French. Every other morning, we get up and shave. 